Cineacs. I'm Lainey. I am Marshall. And today we have a book review for a book that I was set for review uh, called Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. And uh, just a little bit about uh, this book. Uh, if you are not familiar with Veronica Roth, she wrote the Divergent series. And I really did enjoy that series. Not as much the movies, but the series was really good. And so when I found out she was coming out with a new series, I was like, yeah, yeah sign me up. Um, I purchased the book myself, and then Ned Galley decided to gift it to me, like, after it was published, so I was like, score! Um, so, hence this review. Um, so this book called Chosen Ones is kind of a different spin on superheroes. Uh, it is about the five Chosen Ones who were supposed to defeat the Dark One. Uh, they did actually defeat the Dark One, and this takes place about ten years after they do it and what are the ramifications of this group uh, they don't necessarily have powers but they were chosen based on a prophecy that led them to believe that they were these five people who could do this task they were given magical objects that they could wield uh, in order to get the task done uh, but they don't have any powers themselves so they uh dealt with many different ramifications. Two of them were kidnapped during the time that they were fighting the Dark One, so there is a lot of PTSD happening. Um, there's uh, one person who basically just took the opportunity to become popular and wrote it, but he also, it's not like he was a selfish jerk about it, he just was using it to like help people and became this popular like figurehead of the group. So then, there go to the monument dedication of the 10-year anniversary of them defeating the Stark One and it all goes to crap <laughs> from there um, and they find themselves in a completely different but yet similar situation that they have to uh, get through and when I finished this book I was like oh I really hope that there's more because the end of the book left me like huh? no more need more um, and it is a series, so <laughs> yes. Uh, so before we start on my review, what do you think? Um, well, that sounds very interesting. I love the idea of what happens after the heroes win. You don't see that a huge amount in fiction, but at least not that I've seen. And the idea of, oh, big mythic heroes, and now they've got to live their life. It's kind of like if you had Harry Potter, and, like, everyone wants to know what happens to Harry Potter, like, after book seven, but before Cursed Child, like, what happens to him? Yeah. And I think that this is kind of a really good similarity of what those yeah. people might have had I mean, to go through. because you go back to things like Lord of the Rings. They didn't actually have any magical powers in right. the group. Right, yeah. And what do they do afterwards? Well, uh, they... Uh, let's just go over to this other place. Oh, I'm done here. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that, that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what do so you this, think? This one seems like it might be really interesting to look at. And uh -huh. given that you really are left wanting more at the end, I think it's probably going to be a pretty fast read, too. Yeah, it really, I think it really is. Um, it'll probably be really fast. Um, I gave this book four stars. And the only reason why I did was that there were just some certain plot points that I was like, and I just smack you. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I don't know, some of the characters were just not behaving in the smartest manner for people who literally outfoxed a supervillain. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you doing? But I think that really speaks to the uh, damage that these characters may have gone through. Um, I don't necessarily, I don't know, like, I, if I have to give it a 4, I'm probably going to be like a 4.5 on the higher end, uh, just because of... I really liked it, but there were just parts where I was like, hmm, all right then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so um, if you like young adult fantasy, it's not even really fantasy. It's more like a contemporary fantasy um, book, mm -hmm. then definitely check this out. I will leave the information below. This came out in April, uh, so it is a fairly new book. Uh, but yeah, you guys should check it out. But until next time. Stay zany.